Um, the first part that we'll go through is planning our incision and uh, we're going to do that through uh, a couple of steps. The first is to find the ipsilateral margin of the spine to show you on the skin where we would typically make our first attempt at finding that, that point. And here you can see we've placed a spot on the fluoro where it would be. So now you can initiate a fluoro and uh, We'll take a look at where the head pin ended up at. You can see here the guide wire, the tip of the guide wire is at the ipsilateral margin of the spine at the disc space. So it's just a stab dissection? Mm-hmm. Looks good. So Oops. here's okay. a segment that will explain Camden's triangle for you. The borders of the triangle are defined by these anatomic landmarks. The exiting nerve root the superior border of the caudal vertebra and the traversing nerve root. Here you can see how the approach through Camben's triangle offers a trajectory through the midline of the disc space. So that's where we're headed. Okay. I could watch that again or I yep. could just continue on. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so we have a neural probe uh, that has an energized tip uh, to detect nervous anatomy. Uh, so the nerve root on our way in toward the disc space. So you want to advance that until you feel the margin of the of the annulus, and it'll stop. There we go. Now we'll confirm okay, so that position just, uh, with fluoro. So I just I felt it vibrate there, and that was letting me know that I had hit the end. Yeah, you what you've uh, engaged is the is the annulus for uh, the L4 L5 disc space. Okay. So we'll get a confirmation on both lateral lateral and uh, AP view here. You can see that the tip of the neural probe is, is right at the margin of the annulus, and that will be right through Camden's triangle. So now we'll use this impactor to uh, advance the neural probe roughly five millimeters into the disc space, and then we'll get some more confirmation through floral. Okay, how hard do I hit this thing? Uh, you can give it a couple of medium taps. Uh, to get it through the initial part of the annulus. Okay, confirm with flow. So you can see now we're about five millimeters into the disc space here, and uh, we're going to make another uh, advancement with the neural probe. We want the neural probe to be about midline of the disc space, and now uh, your taps can be a little bit lighter as we're now into the nucleus of the disc space. Okay, let's get confirmation of floral. Okay, that looks great. Right about the midline of the of the disc space. Okay, so the the white end of this impactor moves the uh, neural probe deeper, and then the blue end Correct. moves the dilator deeper because mm -hmm. it's got a larger hole. Okay, I I see. Mm -hmm. So okay, great. Taps with that. Let's take a look. Okay, there you can see the blue dilators now over the top of the of the neural probe, at about the midline of the disc. Okay, so, so here's this our, is our access uh, portal, and uh, that gets put over the top of the dilator and engages the end plates and the annulus, um, about three or four millimeters into the disc space. Okay, this is set at uh, what 38 millimeters right now, currently. That's correct. Yeah. Yep. That's a a default setting. Um, the tool is also adjustable and that depth stop makes sure any tools that are used with it you know can't go any deeper into the disk space okay, so everything now is going to be stopped by the portal with a positive stop right that's correct yeah okay that looks good all right you can remove the blue dilator now and then uh, we'll confirm the placement of the portal yeah that looks good so we'll start with the drill to make an initial channel and we have this impressive. visual aid right here to show what's happening on the inside of the body. So this is the distal tip of the drill. You can Whoa. see here too, that's uh, a little bit transparent is the end of the access portal. 
and so you get a good view of what's engaging with endpoints in the So areas. you guys gonna make this appear for me in the OR then? <laughs> do I get do I get this? That would definitely be a great goal to have. So we should probably try to shoot for that. But uh, at this time, no, uh, it's the tools. <laughs> so we uh, okay. So the positive stop kept it from going into the annulus, mm -hmm. and uh, this is, is this a shaper. This is a shaper tool. Uh, it's it's a custom tool for this. It, the the point of this tool is to be able to expand the blades in the disk space to debulk some of the nucleus material and other disk material while making some decortication of the end plate uh, to get bloody bone for implantation. Okay, so this is the articulating curette. Uh, you actuate it with this full trigger and uh, when you pull the trigger, what you can see here is is this actuates a cutter on the end on the distal end of the tool, and we use this to debulk the uh, the nucleus material right here. So it, when once it's put into the access portal, then uh, you'll see it. That's correct. Yeah. So you can see it, get a better view of the end of the articulating curette. It does what basically what it says. Good. You can see how that's debulking disk material that we have. Okay. okay. And so I scrape this off both end plates by what, just, just rotating it slightly? It's uh, it's a defaulted to an, o uh, a, an open position so it doesn't get stuck okay. in the access portal. And, uh, use my right hand for a while. So you'll... You can use this as often as you need to, uh, to, you know, clear out some of the disk material that's been loosened up by the shaper and the drill. Okay. And so now this we is can a suck suction out the tube. Other pieces. How how clear do we want this disk space? Like, how? Uh, we're we're trying to get as much of the disk material as we can. Yeah, when it gets down in there. Okay, so this is a, a pin driver, a power unit that you're probably familiar with. Uh, we, we've built this tissue extractor brush, we call it, with a positive stop at the end right here. And at the end, there's a little wire brush that spins around and oscillates. You can see that what it does is it's very flexible and it can whip around in the disc space uh, without doing any damage to the bone or the disc material. It just collects loose disk material. More open uh, discectomy than just what the portal allows. So this is... Well, this uh, brush ought to, ought to do it. Yeah. This... Whoa! Okay, this is a uh, what we're calling Verify Syringe. It, it's a balloon catheter um, that has an expandable balloon in it. It's filled with contrast, so uh, we can advance that into the disk space and then uh, get confirmation with fluoroscopy for uh, how well we've done with our discectomy. Since unfortunately we can't see it floating next to us, we can use fluoro though to uh, take a look. So we can get confirmation about what uh, our discectomy looks like by fluoro. There. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. So. so now this portion can get unplunged Good. Okay, take that up out of there, man. So this is our Spinology Optimesh graft containment implant. It's uh, loaded on the end of this inserter tool. Um, this graft containment is a mesh material, uh, and the inserter allows the user to put bone graft through it to expand it in the disk space. So mm -hmm. if you put this into the disk space, we'll see it in the mimic our mimic here we can get a good view of the of the mesh then so this is the unexpanded mesh and this is a series of preloaded tubes with uh, bone graft inside That's them. bone graft in there if you look at the yeah if you look at the distal tip uh, you can see there's a little sort of spoon shaped diverter so that will help direct uh, where the bone graft goes inside oh, okay. the so I can, mesh I can, containment I'll spin this around or whatever to get all the different 
Yeah, that's correct. Angles. So, uh, what, what, and the way that you do that is you use this uh, push rod and and mallet to uh, drive the bone oh, so we, into Yeah, we the... really drive it in there. Yeah. Okay. So three, four times on the, the bone tube. Um, that's something that you'll manually do. We're showing it automatically happen in this case, but you can really decide w which direction the graft goes to. Oh, okay. Best. So I just grab this, twist it, give it a pound, twist it, and try to get it to fill up all the okay. all the all the corners. This is just uh, exactly. another yeah. exactly the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Diverted so the, tube. it will take a series of bone tubes to completely fill the, uh, right. the Optimesh. Um, you'll feel uh, the impaction get to a point where it, you can't add more bone graft, and that's how you know it's it's as filled as it can be with the diverted tube. And then we'll finish this is that a straight off. Straight tube. Yeah, so it's a little bit shorter, and it fills the channel that's left behind by that diverted tube because the uh, diverted tube is put into the center of the of the uh, Optimesh container. So this will just fill the little channel that's left over by that diverted right, that right about tube. there. It's just gonna it's just gonna pack in the end, mm -hmm. so I can when I tie tie this yeah. closed, it's fully yeah. packed. It okay. So that will usually take less than an entire um, tube of bone graft uh, to fill, but there's enough in there in any case. So this is our release driver. This will disengage the OptiMesh implant from the inserter and, uh, and then leave the OptiMesh um, graft container in place uh, for fusion. Okay. So I was going to drive down here and uh, what it's gonna we're gonna like it's gonna disconnect the collet that that okay that is holding the mesh to the inserter and then allow you to remove the inserter from the disk space again I could, I could see it from there okay now we just remove the access portal yep and what we're left with is All a right. fully implanted optimesh uh, we can get a, a view with fluoro of what it looks like it's it's similar to our our uh, contrast balloon. Are these our actual surgical fluoros? Like, take it. This that's is correct. actually a case. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm looking for. Huh? And yeah, this is your win badge. You can put in your collection of there surgeries you that you'll perfect when working with us at Spinology as we develop more VR systems. You can you can throw it at things. Oh, whoops! Free to have fun with it. Bullseye. Oh, nice oh, catch. catch it. Then you have to, like, there we go. Nice.